Welcome back guys. In today's video, I want to share some breaking news regarding AMC stocks, specifically regarding some news that could provide a clue when the short squeeze could actually start and my thoughts going into this week. Before I start, if you like AMC stock and believe in the company, smash that like button. I really would appreciate it. So let's start with the breaking news. So on the screen, you are seeing that AMC is on the threshold securities list as of today. This essentially means they have no more shares to borrow. This is why they were calling around asking to loan shares a week ago. Regulation SHO was created to address concerns regarding persistent failures to deliver and potentially abusive naked short selling, which is what we have potentially been seeing here with AMC. Now, threshold securities are equity securities that have an aggregate fail to deliver position for five consecutive settlement days at a registered clearing agency. Importantly, Rule 203B3 of Regulation SHO requires brokers or dealers to immediately purchase shares to close out threshold securities if the failure to deliver persists for 13 consecutive settlement days. Now guys, this basically means we could potentially see a short squeeze come into effect in about two to three weeks from today. Obviously, there are no guarantees, but this does provide a possible date if they fail to deliver for 13 consecutive days. Now looking at the stock today, we actually opened and passed $60 per share very briefly, which is a great sign in my opinion. Now going into this week, I believe the price will hover around $55 to $60 per share. Guys, do me a favor and drop a comment and let me know what your plan is for this week. Are you buying, holding, or selling your shares in AMC? Also, let me know what color Lambo you plan to buy if you make a huge return on AMC. Now, I will be posting a major AMC update video soon, so be sure you are subscribed. With that said, smash that like button if you enjoyed this quick update. Keep in mind, this is not financial advice and just for entertainment.